Apparently, Jim's been trying to to call you.
TV, fucking people. If I fulfill my life's goal, Goodbye, big guy. I will be fucking assassinated. During the Bill Clinton administration, six of my people died. Oh, well, uh, Hillary Clinton was the oh, fucking murdering horrific human being. None of them make one decision. Actors. And look what your idols are up to. Tell me that's not the most demonic shit you've ever seen in your life. But I think you just shoved a red pill up the ass of the audience today. Every narrative they fucking giving you is a fucking lie. What are you gonna do? And every channel would say these exact words. Go, go. Go, this concludes your daily programming. I'm on the radar anyway. All right. Oh, what the hell, man? You guys sneak up on me all the freaking time. Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Ready? Are you ready to party? Ready to have a good time? A lot of people here. I know you're very excited to hang with Jim. Hopefully we don't have serious technical difficulties. But Jim, just cover your phone. We're not going to show you on camera, man. No, he won't, he won't be on camera either way. So, um, any phone will work, Jim, if you're able to hear us right now. Uh, just call in through that link, and you can either cancel out the, the video on your side, or we can do it on our side. But either way, we'll just have your audio on screen. My friend, don't worry. We will not dox you. I know I've doxed plenty before. Mm -hmm. Let me just handle a couple of things, okay? And then we're going to get Jim. All right, I have one caller. Is that Jim? All right, Jim. If that's you. Hold on, brother. I'll be with you in a minute. Let me just just, just handle a couple of things. I got to get out of the way. Happy birthday! We have Mandarians with birthdays. Okay. Got Jack and James. Happy birthday to you, Jack. Happy birthday to you, James. Happy birthday, dear Jack and James. Happy birthday to you. Jack and James went up the hill, both with a buck and a quarter. James came down with two fifty. They didn't go up in no water. Ah. Set me up for that, man. Happy birthday, cats. Uh, lightning for uh, Jack and James. Oh, this is very curious. Very curious. Remember the the chick's name? I couldn't remember. They started with an A. Annette. Annette. Remember? And nobody got it? It wasn't Annette. It was Anita. But nobody picked Anita either. Because I saw it the other day. I saw the name Anita. And I said, it was Anita, not Annette. I don't know. See? I will always fess up to my misfortunes. Quick, uh, quick, quick email. I want to touch base on this. This is from our, my man, Will Do T. Baggins, my brother. Oh, where's my chat? Where is my chat? Let's see here. How was everybody's week? Everybody have a good week? Everybody have a good week? I think everybody's fired up for that man he got sitting on hold. No, oh, he's going to be on in one minute. <laughs> is he, he's, is that, he's on hold, right? I, I don't know. It, it doesn't right. say the screen name of the person. All right, hold. we're going to get Jim on right now. We're going to expose him. Go and expose him for who he really is. And before the end of the night, you will know what Jim looks like. Well, you can take all the evidence and compile one person, and then you'll know exactly what this mystery man looks like. All right, let's see. Let's see, Jim. You there, brother? Hold on. Mr. Metiker. Hello. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Light it up for Jim, my man. Oh, Jesus. What kind of applications are you fucking guys using? <laughs> no, I don't know. That's not my department. Oh, hey, yell at hey, me. mister. Hey, mister. I like my anonymity. Why don't you call up with the fucking webcam? All right. All right, Deep State. Let me do that. Yeah, well, you can stay in the dark, brother. Don't worry. Uh, I, have, I have so many... Guy, I have so many images of you, it's not even funny. It's not even oh, I, funny. Oh, you got a whole fucking collage of them, do you? Uh, you ready for it? We're, we're, one of them is you, and I know which one it is. So don't oh, do you? Uh, <laughs> I want to wait. I want to explain to the audience right now. This is Jim's the original Mandarian. You understand? He tried That's down. right. Super, super fan number one. That's Jim! Right. And he and some of you cats tracked down the real Mandar. Which, which just created, within six days of me hanging with this cat, I don't know nothing about his show, I know nothing. 700 subscribers come down from Medicare Mountain, man, became Medicare Mandarians. This fucking cat, right? 
track me down. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, and now you indirectly created a job for me too. Yeah, he's create employment. <laughs> I, I expect ten percent off the top of that. Oh, Jiminy Cricket! Then you. I owe want me my stipend. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Then you owe me money. <laughs> you both, you both can buy some of my fucking hats, and we'll call it even. You know, I got the T. Oh yeah, check it out, man. You you can see us, right? Sweetie. Yeah, I got your screen up. There's a little bit of a delay, but I got your screen up. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. At Sweetie Squad in the house, the Medicare Sweetie Squad Mantharians in the house. No, oh, there we go. But yeah, six months ago. Now, get this. Let me tell you how elusive this guy is. I'm going to tell you how elusive he is. Since the show, how many times How many times have I spoken to you since the show? Uh, via email? I'd say maybe like you've, you, we've emailed each other maybe like once or twice, yeah, I think. Yeah, over the phone. How many times? None. Yeah, yeah. None. Yeah, yeah. None. And I, th I just wanted to say to the guy, which I can say now, bro. I, you, I'm internally grateful to you for turning me, oh, turning these people on to what I was up to, where I probably start out with 50 freaking subscribers, maybe 10. I don't know. So this is—is is, is my mic coming through okay? Somebody said it's clipping out a little bit in your audience. No, I don't think I hear you perfectly fine. So they should be able. To okay, they're just, they're just fucking around, having a little bit of fun. All right. It, it could be uh, all the subscribers and super chats that are coming in and creating a little stutter in the computer. Okay. We'll okay. All right. I just I just want to make sure it's coming through all right for you guys. Yeah, man. We got to hear Jim. <laughs> so, I have to welcome you with this. I have to sing you in. Okay? Oh, shouldn't I be singing you in? Don't I owe you a happy belated birthday? Oh, I think you do. Go. Wait, let me sing yeah, you in. Yeah, yeah. Happy, me, happy. No, wait. Let me sing you in, and then you sing in with happy belated birthday. You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that was a joke. I'm not singing for you. Oh, yeah, you I are. Wish you, Yo, no, I you, wish you a happy birthday. You set it up. Welcome to my world. Oh, won't you come on in? Miracles, I guess, still happen now and then. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Medeker in the house. Go ahead, sing me happy oh, well, birthday. Uh, okay. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I, I don't remember the rest of the song. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it dies for me. You get a spoken word version. It's a very hipsterish approach. Anyway, so listen. I have questions for you. Do you now? And then your audience, some of your people that consider you their hero, have some questions for you. Okay? Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And then we're going to play a little game. Now, you have to be, you know, the whole idea of state of mind is a man of your word. I'm going to show you images later. We think we tracked mm -hmm. you down at least one of them. You okay. will fess up if one of the images is you, correct? Sure. Okay. Sure, I'll fess up if you got me. We got your word, correct? Okay. You've you gave got us my word. word. So, we'll get to that later. So, now listen. Let me explain to you. Most of you know who this Jim is. Any new subscribers that don't know Jim or me... Let me tell you, you, the rest of your life worth of entertainment, you don't need anything else. You don't need the TV. You don't need the radio. You, mean, you need me and Jim. That's it. I'm telling you right now. But there you go. Jim can psychologically scar you. Now, <laughs> listen, dude. I, I, cycly, I try to cycly, psychologically scar my trolls. But this guy, he, he, he's, he's not prejudiced to anybody. So the last, this is recently... I, I don't get notified from nothing for you. But fortunately, you know Sarah, I'm sure. My friend Sarah will be, hey, uh, Jim's live. And she'll send me a link. This is what this cat does to me. This is first thing in the morning. I say, oh, cool. Because I sit here, I work, I listen to Jim, right? Dude, I click on this. There's a guy getting his penis split up the <laughs> middle and twisted inside. Out. I'm telling you, I can't even show you cats this, man. Now, this is not the creepiest part. Jim, Jim is commentating. Like he's the doctors. Hey, yeah, you're not going to do this anymore. And he's laughing. Dude, I'll never... Well, you know, I mean, it's one of those family-friendly Disney moments that people love so much. And oh. uh, yeah, sometimes you got to show it, you know? So you can't... Talking about it doesn't do it justice if you want to explain how crazy it is. You got to show it to people. I can't show that. Dude, I was thinking about it last night, and I got nauseous. Hey, uh, Jim. Uh, welcome yep. to State of Mind. Thank you so much for hanging with us. I, I got a cocktail. I hope you have one. And everybody, happy Friday, Day. Uh, and Jim in the house. <laughs> Thanks for joining the show, Jim. Yeah, yeah, it's good to be back. That's K9. Been back or never been? Well, so, we've done a stream together. I'd say you were taking first billing on that. I was just along for the ride. 
Yeah, man. You're my man. Let me ask you this question. You've been doing this about eight years, correct? Yeah, well, about a decade, yeah. What was your inspiration to launch Mr. Medicare? Oh, Medicare? No, that channel's only been around for like, uh, I'd say like two or three years. Oh, what was, your, just original, through... what was your original show? Oh, fuck. I, I've had about like eight different channels. I mean, I, I make one, I do videos on it, and then I delete it and move on to another one. Oh, you're like a Mag Bitter Truth who has 35 channels. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 30, 35's amateur hour, David. No, we're talking hundreds. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, I've, I've cycled through so many usernames, yes. Wow. See, this is fascinating shit. Now, without any specifics, are you a family man? Do you mean, do I have kids? No, yeah. I don't have children. You don't? No. No. Good for you. Me neither. Never had. Well, at least not that I know of. Now, Jim, should I talk to you from, from looking at you here? Oh, well, remember, there's a delay, so currently you're looking at other things. No, but, I know. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sending the frame. There's a, a super chat for 100 rubies. That sounds pretty important. Fantastic. Kick it. Medicare's Linocorn Archives says, Jim is cool with singing Ram Ranch, but singing a happy birthday song is too much. You sang Ram well, Ranch? Well, you see, oh, yeah, after about four or five vodkas. <laughs> That's it? I mean, I'll, I'll fucking sing Singing in the Rain for you if you give me half a bottle of liquor. <laughs> Padre Speaks is looking for a Jim and David duet of Rama Rama. I don't know the song. Oh, why? Well, it's a classic. It's a it's a public service announcement video from uh, Australia about not sniffing gasoline. Seriously? Well, yeah, they had to make a PSA because so many people sniff gas in Australia, they didn't know how to handle it. It's an epidemic. It is. Hey, do you know that I have canned air? I get canned air to clean my soulscape here, right? Do you mm -hmm. know you have to get that from behind the counter because kids buy it to get high on canned air? Oh, yeah, it's like Sudafed. If you got a cold and you want to go get some Sudafed or a decongestant, you can't fucking buy it without, like, four forms of ID because people cook meth with it. Well, who gets it? They, they, these kids can get drugs anywhere. It's nonsense. <laughs> who's going to be... I, I know. Who's going to be... Yeah, it's so, so, Back I, in my I, day, we got I, real I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it at all. It, it, it's crazy. I mean, it's like uh, 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 robo-tripping. You know, people buy, like, Robitus and drink it and get all fucked up from one of the ingredients in that, so... Yeah, they can they can use anything. They could even go get vanilla extract and try to get drunk off that. They'll shit themselves silly, but they can try. <laughs> Fucking hell. Now, let me ask you this question. Uh, the last show I saw, you were with Nick, right? Uh, Nick Riketa, yeah. Yeah, and this black cat, bad black guy. What's his name? Bad. I, I, I'm not. I, I, I had bad Protestant. The name of his guest. I don't know. <laughs> but he apparently he was, he was threatened to kill Nick and you and everybody on your blocks because he's got all. These oh no, the guy, the, the guy on the stream was taking the piss out of him. Uh, the, the guy that was threatening to kill Nick's kids yeah. was uh, MB. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, MBA. I can't remember what it stands for. Mad but black asshole. entertainment, but it should be it should be E. But he has an A there, so I don't know what the fuck. Maybe he's not very good <laughs> at doing this. Mad but. black entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, he, he wanted to, uh, he, he basically said, I want to teach your kids how to duck, meaning I'm going to shoot them. And then he, then he said, well, that's, that's dumber than shit right there. And then he actually backtracks. Yeah. Dude, listen, no, I was just pissed off. You can't say that shit, stupid. Yeah, yeah, he tried to play the I'm a hardcore gangbanger when he's got Naruto statues and shit in the background and Transformer figurines. It's really hard to take you seriously with your death threat when you got a Dreamcast in the frame. Yeah, and you got your fucking uh, Botox in your fucking lips. The chat's saying Mad Black Atheist. Oh, uh, there we go, yeah, yeah. He's got like three or four different names, so I can never keep track of what the current one is. Schizophrenic prick. You're all schizophrenic. I got one channel, that's it. And I won't do anything. Black Cube Mystery Super Chat. Oh, yeah. What's up, BCM? The universe must be in peril for the boomer and the groomer join forces against the hot damn cowboys. The light shines. <laughs> ah, light shines. Amen. <laughs> Let me... Okay, I have questions from your audience, and I will dox them all for you. So... Okay. Oh, we'll do one from Mystery. I, you could be familiar with Mystery, another international man of suspense. And of course, this is going to be uh, complicated. They don't. They get a lot easier from here. Uh, does Jim? I'll do it as a, I, I, I'll do it as a mystery would do it. Does okay. Jim believe in sola scriptura, sola fide, sola gratia, solus Christus, 
and Sole Dio Gloria? Do, I don't even know what the fuck that was. Do I believe in a <laughs> solar holiday? What, what are you asking me? <laughs> All right. You know, I, we came to find that Mr. E is actually a religious person. Uh, well, <laughs> well, they are Sola Scriptura, Sola Scriptura, Sola Fide, Sola Gratia, Solus Christus, and Soli Dio Gloria. This sounds you know, very Catholic to me. They're, yeah, I, I don't they're, know. They're is this, faith, is this no. very Catholic? Well, thing? Mystery, there's your, there's your answer. No, he, he doesn't believe I'm in any I'm a filthy heathen. I'm, I'm sorry, Mystery. I'm a filthy fucking heathen. He's 100% heathen. Uh, he, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to slip a super chat good. question in here. Yes, Mag please. Maggie Ellis asks, has Jim enjoyed the vid of him being a suicide hotline operator? It's like Buddha, yeah. smoking and caramel and celebrating. Cheers, boys. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen that. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. I haven't. What it, what is it? Up? Yeah, it's just, it, it, they take sound clips from different streams and then overlay it with the suicide uh, hotline. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's dark, but it's funny. Oh, I have to see that shit. You did it? You're the phony phone caller? No, 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 no. Somebody else did it. They did the uh, editing on it. Oh, all right. With you? You're the guy talking. Yeah, yeah, they took oh, uh, audio I clips see you guys from said streams that to me, I did. Bro. I didn't see that. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have an email from Erica Dahl. Hey, David. Okay. My husband and I are huge fans of Mr. Medicare, and he wanted me to ask him, how many DUIs can he get before he needs to seek help? Thank you. <laughs> how many DUIs? Yes, well, I, I guess that we'd have to we'd have to be more specific. Are those are, are those are those DUIs that you were able to successfully run away from? <laughs> no, 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 no. Veer no. in and out of traffic. I, well, I give you the best one. I give you my best one. Yeah, look, sweetheart, it's medication. That's how you have to. That's how I look at it. For us, I don't know about Jim. For me, it's my medication. I don't pop no pills, man. I tried to do that for my family. It didn't work. My best one is the first one ever. Where, where I could have, this is when it all started, dude. Like the, the literally the month that it was all checkpoints in New York, Manhattan. I'll make it real quick. Uh, I pull over. I, I, I'm, I'm, I see it. I don't. I had one drink and a shot. And my buddy Mike McConey, who I talk about all the time, rest his soul. Uh, he wasn't back in time. I'm, I was tired. It was like nine o'clock. I see the traffic stop. I fucking go. I blew one point over, right? I, they take me downtown. They do. They used to videotape you so you could use it for evidence. And what they did, they mm -hmm. threw three quarters on the ground and said, walk, pick up the quarters, and then walk back. So I picked up the quarters and fucking juggled them. Now, I got, I got the cops laughing. We're all laughing. So all said and done, it was a $10 fine because they lost the tape. I think they got rid of the tape for me. That was my DUI. Well, my, well my see, they, though... Well, I wish I wish everyone could have that DUI story. Well, I juggled for the cops, so they said you're good to go. Yeah, I juggled the quarters. All right, give us one of yours. You got one on. <laughs> you got one in you at least. Please tell me you do. Otherwise, uh, you're not uh, as debaucherous as you say. Uh, my 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 singular DUI story. Okay, cool. Was uh, was was getting a little too tipsy at a party, and then getting pulled over, <laughs> and not passing at all. <laughs> can you can you touch your nose? Oh, that's sir. That's your ear. Oh, uh, can, that's can you bad. walk a straight oh. line? Oh, you're going in circles around the vehicle, sir. Oh. <laughs> and then I made a joke about bazookas in the trunk, and they didn't find it as funny as I did. And it just got worse as time went on. I uh, I, I was in the clear heading home, and then I passed a, a late night fast food place and did a U-turn for a taco salad. That's legendary in our <laughs> neck of the woods. And they got me for the U-turn. <laughs> See, that's just fucked up moment, man. I got a bunch they're of super out there, chat out there to make them money. Should I be rattling these off? or? Uh, yeah, we have a super chat, sure, if it's for Jim. Uh, Wilburn asks, what's your opinion on the Lizard King? On the Lizard King? Well, you know, we, we see every different show's got a different audience. So now I don't know what Lizard King we're talking about on this show. Are we talking about Center of the Earth Reptilians, or are we talking about like some YouTuber? Uh, whichever Lizard King you uh, you're most familiar with. Uh, well, you know, I mean, David Ike. I got a good feeling with that guy that maybe he's onto something, and maybe those fucking lizards. They're just they're they're sneaking around doing nefarious shit. I don't know. I find I what do I find most fascinating about the whole reptilian shit? Are the statues, are the sculptures around the world? That kind of blows my mind. 
I mean, like seriously, all over the world. Oh, if you got, if you got time tonight, we have to talk about the FBI dump of the finders documents. Oh, we will have time. As a matter of fact, you're going to get an invite into the VIP after hour show. It's double fun on Friday oh, fantastic. night. Yeah, you're going to get oh, that email. Sounds great. Yeah, hang with this VIP. I'm going to I'm going to do something. Oh, okay. We'll do tea baggins. He was touched by my version of my way. Let me tell you, fuckers, it sucked. Did you see that show? Did you see me do my way? It was terrible. Acapella. <laughs> no, but uh, maybe somebody could send me a clip. Yeah, it was my birthday. I, that was my gift to them. It wasn't a No, listen, it was okay. It was bad karaoke, but I figured it out, Jim. I figured it out. No, When I did Teenage Wasteland, and uh, Mr. A, you're going to have that in a minute. When I did that, no music, no nothing. My own version of it, that's what I got to do. No music in my head. So tonight, I'm going to do something real cool at the after party. No music, no nothing. Just reading the words. There, big news. <laughs> All right, I'm going I'm to rapid fire these questions. Up. All right, hit us with some questions. Then I got some other questions that people really want to ask. And I have to ask Jim these questions because the people want to know. All right, rap, rapid fire answers here, boys. Cool. For posterity, is Jim getting the remake of Medieval for, for PS4? Uh, yeah, probably, yes. All right. Baron von Ugensternberg. Baron! Has- Ask Jim if he saw the episode where I called in in full uniform and mask. I've been a huge fan since Jim 81, Jim days. Uh, Jim, if you've uh, seen no, that. No, I've not seen that. Um, I have not seen that episode. I'm sorry. That's not an episode. That was, oh, yeah, it's the after party. Yeah, if, it's you saw, after-party. if you saw Baron in his full uniform and mask, you would absolutely remember. Oh, yes, you wouldn't forget it. <laughs> it. It was almost as scarring as watching the guy get his penis ripped open and stuffed inside him. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got nauseous thinking about it last night. I can't show that. I can't see it again. Blue Satoshi. Go look it up. Bit shoot. The best part of the Jim Suicide Hotline vid is the wall of Jim's cubicle gradually gets filled with Employee of the Week awards. <laughs> Black Cube Mystery. Ask Jimbo how his treatments for super cancer AIDS is going. Does he have to drink the blood of children like a Rothschild? This we must know. Well, hey, bro. well, you know, uh, luckily for me, uh, there's a group of individuals out there that happen to run a service through tunnels under McMartin Preschool that provide me with all the blood I need to drink to cure my super aid. So I'm doing good. I told you I was going to expose him for who he is tonight. I told you all I would do this. He can't help but tell the truth when I, you can't. That's why I tell it. Some I of know. You, some of you punk. Dragged out into the light. Yeah. Dangling. He's in the light. I got his light shining on him, motherfuckers. He's coming into the dark and he's going to expose himself. You watch what happens tonight. <laughs> Franklin Clanker asks, "What's Jim opinion? What's Jim's opinion on flat Earth?" What's my opinion on flat Earth? Sure. What's your opinion? Oh, well, well, here's where you and I differ. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't think it's a flat Earth. I think. I think we're on a globe. Man, that's fantastic. I think they're just. I think they're. I think they're too many. Too many companies that would have to be involved. Too many companies, too many people keeping a secret to make that work. No. I'm on Jim's it's, side on this it's, one. It's one. It's the elite that brainwashed you all motherfuckers. You're all brainwashed. There's, but put it this way. This is what I've asked to this day on my show. I need a hot damn ball earth scholar to come on. Give me, NASA tells you. NASA says straight up, we have the facts. They will say. We, you, it's so stupid. What's that one, that, that nasty, horrible human that I can't stand that woman, that dude, that dude that looks like a lady. We have proof. Looks like a lady. What is just give me the proof? <laughs> That's what I ask from anyone out there. I want your scientific proof that you're on a ball of water. I'll give you scientific proof you're not. There, I'm Listen, done. If we're not on a ball of water, then technology is going to rapidly advance to the point where you can't keep that secret any longer. Radio signals, it, it's not a secret any longer, fucker. Radio signals will not work on a ball earth. Just like you have satellites on the ISS. It's all fucking uh, uh, Disney. Well, Dave, David, I have, to, I have to confess that your producer here is a part of my globalist conspiracy. Yeah. And we're going we're gonna to convince you. That you're on a sphere. Yeah, you. I'm just show show me your scientific proof. I got all the proof I need. We're, we're gonna take you in a Virgin Galactic uh, airline. For don't your be 60th fucking. Birthday. Don't do any waterboarding on me and shit like that, though. Fuckers. Someday you <laughs> and I are gonna look down on the globe together. All right, Mr. A has some questions for you in an email. Great birthday show, man! I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. For some reason, he talks like this. Can't wait for Medicare Mandar reunion. If you don't mind, I have a few questions for Jim. Jim, while you're in the maternity ward getting your umbilical cord cut, uh, dude, that's kind of personal. What the fuck? Were you there? You're out your mind. How do you know? How do you know his dad didn't chew it off? Stupid. 
I had probably already thrashed my first Atari 2600 joystick, having learned that you can't actually beat Space Invaders. Have you ever had that system? If not, what was your first gaming system? Have you ever owned any 80s computers like Spectrum, Atari XL series, Commodores, Amstrads, etc., etc., et dude? And have you ever owned Apple, a Apple II. Omega Master Race? Yeah, no, my first uh, console was an NES, and uh, first home computer was an Apple II. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There's your answer. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, you're going to learn everything hey. about Jim you need to know. Um, are you a Fed? Hey, dude, you don't have to ask that question. This guy's a 100% goddamn psyop. Don't even have to ask that. It's transparent. I'll, 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 I'll answer honestly. Yes, I am. I work for the United States government. Mm -hmm. Told you. You don't have to know that. He exposed me. You think, he, you think it was all a fluke? He found me. He's exposed me. So they have me targeted, yeah, and when I, when they take me out, you blame Jim, Mr. Medicare. That's right. Okay, number three, third question for Mr. A. Are you a uh, Christ Chuck, Christ Cuck? Uh, do me a favor, man. I got a, I, I, I got a mental block with that word. What's a cuck? Huh? What is it? I want to hear Jim's uh, definition. You, you, you want me to explain what a cuck is to you? Yeah, I got a mental block. Well, first of all, it's a real fucked up oh, okay. word. Well, I'll give you, I'll give you an fuck. example. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you an example. All yeah. right, there's this guy. He's named Matt Jarbo. You ever heard of Matt Jarbo? Yes, as a matter of fact, there's a big conspiracy on my channel for a second there. <laughs> okay, well, Matt Jarbo, mundane Matt, is in a, a committed relationship with a woman who's got a child from another man, and he's raising that child, and that would make him a cuck because he's, he's raising another man's child. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what now, it is. Okay. So if you're a Christ cuck, you're cucking because you're a Christian. So it means you're letting... You're letting things you shouldn't let happen because of your religion. See, I thought it was watching. So I guess, I guess, in the context of what, what's that? I thought it was letting another dude bang your wife while you watched. No, no, oh, they, it was your, well, your it, pussy. It, no, because the guy asked. Now I remember, a guy asked, and they told me it's when you no, and I told them, I said, no, it's the kid you're dealing with. If the kid doesn't have a father and you want to step up to be it, fine. Not the woman. Who would want to take on a kid if they didn't love the woman? And Jack Ripper just well, yeah, chimes the, in, the, fuck Matt Jarbo. There you go. There See, you everybody go. knows who Mr. Matt is. All right. That word, cuck, is worse than fuck, in my opinion. That's what I'm going to start telling people to cuck off. Let's there see. you go. Well, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a sign of weakness. If you're called a cuck, it means you're being weak and complacent. Well, that's the a easiest stupid way question to think of. for Jim, then. Stupid. Don't be stupid, Mr. A. Last question for Mr. A. Also ask Jim... If he heard and liked our track. Did you hear uh, Teenage Wasteland, Bob O'Reilly? The first track on the Flat album from David Stay? Did you hear that? No, no, I haven't. I, yeah. I'm behind the times on this stuff. He didn't hear it, uh, Mr. Ray. We'll have to play that for you. Not tonight, though. Thanks, dude. Take care and speak to you soon. Thank you, Mr. Ray. I'll talk to you Sunday, actually, right? I'm talking to you on Sunday. Okay, let me... Oh, this is from uh, our friend Scott. Scott Alice. He has a question for you. Why, why is Jim gay? Oh, uh, because I love sucking dick. There you go. Easy questions, easy answers. I just can't help myself. I just I get down there and it's yum, yum, yum. What yeah, am I going to do? That's my man. That's my man, Jim. Bravo, Scott. You're happy now. Chimera. Hey, Jim, did you hear about the comic skater in Portland that is being charged for cyber stalking? For sending dick pics or something like that? I, I don't follow that shit. I, I really don't know. With uh, I know a little bit about Kick Vic and a little bit about Comic Skate, but I don't I don't follow that shit enough to know uh, these people. I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't either. I can't help you. They ask questions of me. I have no clue what they're talking about. All right, very quick here, Bernie Frost. Do you you know Bernie? You know Bernie Frost? Do I know Bernie Frost? Who's Bernie Frost? I don't know. He's a guy with a question for you. Hmm? Uh, okay. Hey, Jim. What's the question? If you had the ability live stream on BitChute, would we have a Jade stream, nothing but Jade, or would that be too much for BitChute to handle? He's asking a technical shit, bro. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, I, I hope BitChute implements live streaming. I think it'd be a really good idea for them to do it. I understand it's a lot of money to get it all set up. 
Um, what I what I let <laughs> what I let Jade stream? No, I've noticed anybody that lets any significant other of any type onto their streams or into their YouTube stuff, it, it's disastrous. I've never seen it work out well. Okay. Never okay. bring on a wife or a girlfriend, a husband or a boyfriend. You're asking for fucking trouble. Yeah, absolutely not. And it's funny. He actually says, uh, "Skip this." Is someone who already already sent the, in this question? Who else would send in that stupid question? Not a stupid question, but who really was somebody? Now, that, David, uh, I've got to be honest with you. <clears throat> These questions feel like they're being put on us by the deep state because they don't want us to talk about. The big shit that's going on. I've got subjects I want to talk about. There's Lay it on us. Let's go. On. Hold on. Let's all right, go. Well, what? What? All right. What is your opinion? All right. There's been three news stories, three separate news stories now in the past two weeks uh -huh. coming out of NASA. I know you don't like NASA, but nonetheless, it's coming out. Of okay. It feels like they're laying down groundwork. The first one that came out was somebody that worked on, I think, the Viking Lander, okay. who had said that he, he believes they discovered life and that they weren't allowed to talk about it. That was on CNN a week ago. Discovered a life week on before the moon? that, another guy. No, no, on Mars. I'm sorry, on Mars. All right, well, that's bullshit. Another guy, mm -hmm. another guy a week before that came out and said that he expects, this is another NASA official, he expects a big fucking announcement to come out about life on Mars. That's two NASA officials talking about life on Mars. Okay. And then he got the government... You got the government, you know, the uh, U.S. Navy, U.S. Air Force, right. releasing classified footage of unidentified crafts. And now you got Tom DeLonge and his To the Moon or To the Stars Institute mm -hmm. has a contract with the government now to study exotic materials. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck is going on? Why is all this alien shit popping up in the last two weeks? All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, let me explain something to you. When that alien invasion fucking happens, there's, it's, it's predictive programming. They've been setting this up for 50 years for you. When it happens, it's not fucking real. I tell you this right now from my heart of hearts. You know the holographic shit they can do now. I believe in fucking cloud cloaking. And this is from the 1920s they were doing this shit, man. I showed you that footage. With a cloaking the whole. So you're talking sky. like project. You, you're talking like Project Bluebeam. Yeah, where gonna fake Blue alien Beam. stuff. Oh no, there was other ones. The project oh, that's Blue the Beam. Uh, that's, well, that's what. They, that's how they're setting the fucking fires. We're on fire again, kids. Just so you know, that's big news tomorrow night. Fucking on fire again. God damn it. <laughs> they're gonna shut down hot damn San Francisco tonight. You like apple pie? How you like that apple pie? Huh? Fucking hell, mate. God damn it. Now, what do, you, what, do you, what do you make of the Tom DeLonge thing? I mean, this is a guy that's a singer in Blink-182 who's now working with people from the Defense Department, from NASA, from different government agencies to do disclosure about aliens. There's got to be like, something is, Does there. that strike you as weird? The weirdness of it is what gives it credibility in my eyes. What's this band guy that's got all the money in the world to ride off into the sunset doing, and why is the government giving him the time of day? There's got to be some smoke there. Oh, the same reason Cardi B is giving financial advice. Mm. Fucking hell. <laughs> People taking financial advice from Cardi B. If it wasn't for Tom, we wouldn't have seen those uh, those those Navy footage videos from the pilots chasing down the UFOs. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's the one that got it released. Yep. You're talking about that one little black thing floating along in the in the in the crosshairs. That that image. There's a couple of those videos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's thousands of them. And what? Now that the, now that the television tells you it's so, now you're gonna fucking believe it. <laughs> no, not the television. It's not the journalists. It's the it's the Navy and the Air Force that are yeah, releasing. Yeah, now that they're telling you, oh well, I guess it is real. They're set. Um, my opinion, Jim. They're setting you up for mm -hmm. alien invasion shit, just like Reagan kind of set you up in 1980 something. You know? Right, with his speech at the UN. Yeah, yeah. I think if there was an alien invasion, <laughs> we all get together. Okay, that bullshit. It's set, they don't do this shit overnight. They pre-program you all. Okay, yeah. well, how, what, do you, what do you think about the relation with Podesta? All right, somebody brought it up in your chat. It's, it's a fair question. With the Hillary leaks that came out, Podesta had different emails, and I think one was actually to Tom DeLonge and other different government agents talking about alien disclosure. So do you think this is like some weird government that you, you, you're thinking it's like some kind of operation where they're going to fuck with the public, or do you think... There might be a grain of truth to it, and then people are just ready to say, hey, you know what, fuck it, uh, aliens exist. They have to, uh, the game they play, again, this is my philosophy, they have to give you the truth in the lies. Anything that the mainstream, the government allows you to see, 
is designed. It's by design. Shit doesn't leak if they don't want it to leak. Every media outlet is owned by a handful, if not just two. Nothing is aired unless they want you to fucking see it. My philosophy, now you know what? In my heart of hearts, I know this is true. And it goes, this is not new shit. <laughs> All right? And I'm talking to the audience, Jim, just so you know. Uh, not directly. No, that's you. fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's yeah. fine. But th that's my opinion. They're setting this up, man. I'm coming to believe earthquakes are man made. I'm really, especially when I come to find that most of the fucking uh, Titanic plates are in the ocean where nobody can investigate, ever. They just tell you this shit. And they, they know nothing about the ocean. It's all, it's all, it's a fucking agenda, man. They have the sheep by the balls and they're just so pitiful that billions watch that fucking box and believe what they fucking hear. God damn it. See, here's, here's my take on it. Give this it is what me. I think's going on. All right, and again, I mean, we got different opinions, right? Cool, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll come to yeah, here's what I think. A happy medium. Yeah, yeah. With with people like El, uh, Elon Musk and all these different companies, Virgin and others, that are talking about going into space and doing space travel or in-orbit in stuff, vacation stuff, putting up <laughs> new uh, micro-satellite <laughs> networks, that kind of shit. That. Yes, you can. Uh, well, you know, here, here's what I think. If you have commercial enterprises going into space, if you've got all these different companies that are going to start doing that as a tourism hobby mm -hmm. or as new business opportunities, yeah. and there really is alien shit up there, you can't keep it a secret any longer. If it's just the government going up, they can lie about it all they want. But if it's some asshole at a corporation, the moment they see something, they're going to be on CNN or they're going to have a TV special being like, hey, look, uh, fucking uh, <laughs> Tesla or SpaceX or Virgin, we discovered aliens. You know, They want their name in the history book. I think they have to disclose it now. If it's real, they have to disclose it. They can't keep it a secret any longer with corporations going up. That's what I agree. It's just difficult for me to even deal with because I know there's nothing on Mars. We are not on Mars. You've never been to the moon, ever. Impossible. Can't even get there. So th well, let, let me meet you halfway then. Meet How me halfway, this? please. Uh, and, and I'll help uh, okay. you down. If, let, let, me, let me meet you halfway. Let's try, to, let's try to align my globalist idea with your flat Earth idea. Fantastic. You still, believe with, flat Earth, you still believe with flat Earth that there's stuff above you, yeah? I believe there's a dome. I mean, above you, me. might not, you might not believe it. Yeah, dome. but I mean, you don't, you don't believe. Yeah, but there is space up there. There is some space. There is some yes. clearance between the ground yeah. and, and the top of the sky. All right. My opinion is 7,000 so, to 10,000 miles up. Okay, seven to 10,000 miles up. What if then, mm -hmm. at least from a flat Earth perspective? Yes. Forget Mars, forget the moon. Yeah, fuck them. What if there is shit that lives up there? What if, the, what if there is shit that lives up 9,000 miles above the Earth? Look, I, that's a possibility. I will give you that. I don't think so. But like I say all the time, they don't come from outer space. They come from the hot damn ocean and way beyond the Antarctic wall. There are civilizations beyond that Antarctic wall. Oh, how about this? What if we call them, instead of aliens, what if we call them domers? Because they live on the dome, and the, the dome, the sky, that's their ground. Fucking, we just coined that fucking word. What did I coin? I coined the go. dope opera where somebody found it somewhere. I thought I coined it, though. And the domers. Yeah, the domers that live amongst us. The, where they're fucking the reptilian fucking people with their fucking eyes. I, did I tell you? Did that's, I tell you, Casper, yeah, my you dentist? Domers. Dude, my dentist in goddamn Woodland Hills. Not my, not this dentist, but this other dentist where I where my office was in Woodland Hills. Fucking reptilian, bro. I even told my dentist now, whose wife works for that dentist, to ask her to check his eyes. I swear to God, I'm talking to him. His eyes were fucking slits. My dentist in Woodland Hills was a hot damn reptilian. Yeah, that's right. David, you have to uncover this. Here's what I suggest. I will I will fucking super chat you if you do this. If okay. you have the balls to do this, I will super chat you if you live stream it. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to that fucking dentist's office, mm -hmm. and I want you to take a live mouse, and I want you to dangle it in front of his face and see if he'll eat it. Oh, well, that's fucked up. Well, if he's a reptile, that's lunch. Yeah, but I'd get arrested. <laughs> For what? You're just waving a mouse. You're not doing anything with it. No, it's a hygienic place. I, I wouldn't mind sitting them down with the, with the little hidden cameras we got, right? And just, just saying, look, I want to talk to you about it. I, wouldn't, I, might, I might entertain that. Like actually ask him, look, I, I saw your eyes. Are you a reptilian? It's cool. You can tell me. 
<laughs> I might do that. I got a tech question. I'd go for it. Live stream it. <laughs> no, I, I can't do that. I'd dox him. You can't be afraid of the truth, David. <laughs> if there's a reptile among us, <laughs> nail and, he, and he was in my mouth. Oh, that sounded disgusting. Oh, he's probably he probably <laughs> laid little he probably laid little lizard eggs in your teeth. Oh fucking hell, mate! <laughs> hey Jim, I got a tech question. That's for what that. those domers do. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Uh, your the audience is asking for us to mute these super chats coming in. I've muted about fifty different things, and these these notifications are not muting. Are you familiar with Streamlabs at all, and how I can mute these for you guys? Uh, I don't. I, I I use Streamlabs, but I don't actually have it fed into the stream, so I don't know what the sound effects are with that. Uh, you're kind of you're kind of on your own on that one. All right. Well, if the audience is listening, I've muted everything I can possibly mute at this point without stopping the stream. And oh, they're that. hearing the bling bling. Yeah. When the oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Now we have. Now listen. I I told you, Jim. I'm gonna dox you, and one way okay. or another. If anything, we're going to compile all these images at the end, and if you put them all together, that is the mysterious Medicare, Mr. Jim Medicare. Okay, you can see my screen, correct, Jim? Oh, I now I've got yeah, I, I I've got you pulled up on YouTube. So if Perfect. you pop it up on YouTube, I'll be able to see it. That's fine. So apparently, this is you in high school. Can you deny or confirm? Okay, you're gonna have to give me a second to get yeah, caught no, up. Yeah, there's a little delay. That's fine. We'll wait for you because we're gonna track you down, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see if it's pulling it up here. I really. Okay. Think yeah, we've got like a we've got like a minute delay, so it's gonna be a it's, second. It's Jim, fine. Jim, it's well worth it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fake taxi. Is yeah. that? D-Live <laughs> is, is that? only like a sure. three second delay. Can you get sure. the D-Live? Yeah, no, that's that's me. That uh, fake tag. Yeah, I can, I'll pull up. I'll pull up. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Sure. That'll okay. be me. Yeah. You know how, I'm you know wearing the I, fake taxi shirt. You know how shirt. I knew that was you? Because right there how's on that? your shirt, fake tag giving free rides when you're that fucking oh. young. Oh, you know, you're disgusting, man. All right. So that's, <laughs> let's, let's see what he, he evolved into. Now, we know this okay. is I pulled up. I pulled up D-Live, too, to see if that'll do it quicker. Yeah, pull up D-Live. It's only like a two-second delay. See if you can grab that. It'll be much more exciting that way. Oh, right. we'll see which one comes up first. Okay. This is the next one of you. We know this is you. We know this oh, is Oh, yeah. Least... Well, I am being detained. Yeah, I, so... I won't be detained. Yeah, yeah, I'll fight that till the end. Hey, do you have that thing on your ankle, the monitor? No, I won't let them cage me. This bird's got to be free. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be a dog, man. I want to be a bird. That's right. He asked me last week, "What animal?" I said, "I want to be a dog, like in a nice house, though, with a mom and a dad and a couple of kids." You know? Okay. This no, is see, another they're, they're one never going to so catch me on my land boat. Not happening. <laughs> we already confirmed that you were the other kid, so this is definitely not you. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. This kid, that's not you, right? Or it did it could be you, like five years later, in like. Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe I've got I've got to wait for it to pop up again, yeah, but okay. we'll we'll see. When it pops up, I'll tell you. you I'll tell be us. honest with you. Yeah, you tell us. In prep school, like preparatory school. That's you right there. Isn't oh, it? is I preps? <laughs> Derry, is this the food review guy? Yeah, no, that's me too. You got me. God damn, you're nailing me left I and right. I told here. you. I told you all. I'm what I was gonna do tonight. Fucking hell. Here, let's carry on. Let's carry it now. Is this you? Is this you like at See, a modeling deep, Some deep lore? Wait, wait. Some deep lore as to why uh, Sargon hates me so much? He's seen my videos and understands that I know how to wear a tie. All right, you see? Hair's nice and slick back. Good appearance. Right. Reviewing those Burger King deals. He can't stand it. Amen. He's buddies with the sweatpants Joe Eats. <laughs> Oh, and see, I wish I could or could rock a, a porn stash like that, but no, that is not me. That's not Jim. All right, I didn't think that was you. Well, we know this is you. No, I, that, that's a mustache that says, "I am here to meet some ladies." Well, this cat. Is, I am here to meet some ladies and fuck them on film. But this, no, I'm not. <laughs> this is the question: Is this your sister? Is Link in a mega hat my sister? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's not her sister. All right. Um, now, my guess is this close, most closely resembles you. And, and I, I keep in mind, up top, 
I try to keep their names in that sent them so we can dox them. That was just a nice so touch with a license plate in your lips. Uh, no, that's not a license plate. That looks like a, uh, that looks like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's uh, what you stick in the ground that explodes Yeah, a people? fucking mortar, right? A fucking, uh, uh, a like, claymore. It's yeah. a claymore. Yeah. <laughs> that's you, right? Oh, that's about the speed I'd expect from this area. But no, no, I'm not walking around with live claymores in my fucking mouth. All right, <laughs> so, what the fuck? All right. No, that's not Jim, kids. It's not Jim. I, I shouldn't. Okay. Let, let's see. Let's see. Now, I also thought this cat was you. Now, you might not know some of these people. I don't know who they are, but they're just goofing on me. I know some, look, some of these are goofs, just so you know. <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought they were all 100% uh, serious. Uh, no, that man is a saint. Oh, this that is man a, is a fucking saint. Well, we know it's not Jim. I won't, I won't, I won't besmirch his name. Terry <laughs> is a fucking saint. All right, so we know that's not Jim. <laughs> that is not me. Now, this could definitely be you. This could fucking definitely be you, man. These are some deep investigations going on. Oh, I had a whole... I had Uh agents all over the place. Sounds like what you'd say after getting busted. Right. That would be the Lord Savior of uh, trolling, blessed be his name, Habiberman, Lord of the 24-Hour Ops, founder of Medicare, the website. Oh, so that's not you. It's one of his boys, though. No, that's Haberman. Oh, what the fuck, guys? Why are you wasting my time with you know, that? There's a, there's a video up of him singing, and you can clearly tell that it's not my voice. All right, okay. Now, this cat. I, now, this confused me a little bit, but then other people were sending me shit like this. See, I don't know anything. Oh, it's popping up here. Let's see what we got. This is from Johannes Oh, uh, well, that... You know, I do like the hat. I mean, that is a fancy hat, but no, I do not, not own you. a fancy hat like that. All right, no, I, that's I, not me. I now, this, now, this, uh, this is a, this was rude. This was from, I don't have the name of this punk that sent this. I don't even know why they would do this, Jim. Fucking idiots. Oh, we'll, we'll find out. Oh, you got me. Well, we need an that's oh. after a really, a really <laughs> wild pizza party we need uh, at a cosplay convention. I'm just lounging around. <laughs> oh, he does. He gets goofed on. Oh, look at that. He admitted it. I told you. And remember, this man, he, he swore on the freaking state Bible here. He said he's going to give us his word. Fucking hell, mate. Now, this is an actor. Hey, I am a, I I'm a, a big-boned this? woman. Oh, this is you, then. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about that sexy bat lady? Oh, yeah. No, then this is you. Except we can't oh, see Oh, I'm face. still behind on the stream. I'm, I'm still no, behind. Okay. No, actually, I, that wasn't me. It takes a couple of seconds. <laughs> that was somebody that made merchandise before I did. I don't know who that is. Hey, yeah. Dude, when I got this t-shirt, bro, I didn't get it from you. So oh, yeah. No, there's like 18 people selling shit. Yeah. See, that's fucked up. That's <laughs> no. why I didn't get the hat yet. Can you? Will you personally email me? Because I got this. And I was like, and then they told me no, because I showed him where I got it from. They said, that's not Jim. I was like, fucking hell. God damn it, man. They're going to do that to me, too, right? Fucking hell. Oh, sure, sure. Fuck yeah, they're going to they're gonna sell, I, I don't know, like, we got to come up with a merchandise idea for you. What can are we going to sell? Can, can, oh, dude, it's coming. It's coming like, it was going to be tonight, actually. It's going to be, might be tomorrow night. It's coming really soon. I'm going to have like a oh, nice t-shirt, sweaties, uh, what do you call them? Uh, hoodies. It's, yeah. com- it's coming like the end of a treadmill. Now somebody said, now, "David, this are you are you familiar?" It. Well, wait, wait. On that picture, before you jump ahead, uh-huh. are you familiar with the guy in the sweater, the the white sweater? Andy no, no, Wolfsky, no. Yeah, he's an actor, is. right? Who is he? No, no, no. He's a he's a dude that did uh, live streams on YouTube, and then his last live stream was him uh, basically pulling, having his friend pull a gun on somebody and threaten to kill them in the street, and that was the end of his streaming career. Now wait a second. That's why your chat's that's why your chat's saying aim 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 stay back. Holy shit. So let me ask wait, you. Wait, that was question. fake? No, that wasn't fake. That was real. Oh shit. Now so, let, now, now hold on, hold on. This is important. Cause cause I go to Mr. Medicare is gone. There's nothing there. It's just a blank page. You were goofing. And it I, <laughs> look, you have to understand something about Jim. Because I sit here, it's funny, because I'll be listening to you, right, while I'm working, right? Mm-hmm. And he'll laugh. I can't do his laugh. <laughs> I can't do his laugh. But he'll laugh, and I'll start gotta laughing. You've got to get that uh, tar in there. Yeah, you got to get that smoker cackle going. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but he'll laugh, and I'll laugh. And I'll be like, wait a second, what is he fucking laughing at? <laughs> I don't even know what he's laughing at. And I'll do the five-second back button for like 20 seconds to see what he laughed at. 
because he laughs, I laugh. It's brilliant, man. It's fucking it's brilliant. contagious. <laughs> it's the best, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, Jim. Oh, these are questions from Bernie. Another question from Bernie Frost. Oh, you, you can answer this. I can't. Who would win in a fight, all of Asia or Jade, while you watch and eat some popcorn? I don't know, man. Those Asians hate each other. That would be a bloody fucking fight. Who's Jade? I don't know if you've ever heard. I, I, that's my girlfriend. Did you finger her on your show? <laughs> oh, yeah. I put, I, I put on shows for everybody. My entertainment's classic. You, so you <laughs> did. They were right. I thought they were goofing on you. You, you oh did, no, we got really we got really drunk on a Halloween stream. Oh shit! And, uh, Is that archive? Did she give any instructions? No, you could just hear a lot of moaning, and people put well, you know two and two together. Did you, did 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 you know you were live? Did you know it was streaming? Or you fucked? Up? I was I was like I was like eight <laughs> or nine drinks in at that point. I didn't know where the fuck I was. Shit's spinning. I'm drunk. You know, the things are going on, and then I, I'm hearing people on stream say, whoa. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, we're, there's a hot mic here. That's brilliant. You want to hear? I got a, I got a Sylvester Stallone story have for you. Have you heard about Martha? Oh, have, did you hear about Martha? Wait, you've got a, well, no, wait, you can't, you can't segue in like that, all right? <laughs> we just went from me fingering a girl to you like, oh, I've got a story like that about Sylvester Stallone. Did you finger him? <laughs> I do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Well, that the reason the person who asked that, I'm sorry, I don't know who asked that. But when you mentioned Jade, uh, now I realize. Well, Jade's his girlfriend, right? Uh, mm -hmm. He uh, he re was referenced to the Martha call on my was it when was it? It wasn't my birthday, right? Uh, that was the Tuesday, the night before. Yeah. Did you did you hear about Martha? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is this is this related to Sylvester? Or is this the two stories we got here of? Uh, well, the I, I, got, I got an obscene phone call. From Martha, <laughs> on the show live. She was very excited to call in. It was it was crazy, dude. I'll send you the link for it. Oh yeah, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, I'll tell you the Sylvester Stallone story. And the only way I I can I would say this is because I don't believe shit anyone tells me on a set. But more than one person told me this story. Apparently, Sylvester Stallone is in his trailer with an extra, and he's getting a blowjob. And this is what he's saying. Uh, uh, say slot. Say my name. <laughs> say slot. Because <laughs> he let that his mic was on. He kept his mic on. <laughs> and he's fucking. Oh, so his... everybody on set's hearing it? Yeah. Well, the, whoever has the fucking headsets on. <laughs> Whoever's on that channel. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Say slot. Say slot. <laughs> How's she supposed to do that with a dick in her mouth? <laughs> That's what it sounded like. <laughs> She's gonna sound like him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, uh, Jim, have you heard of Yuri Bezmenov? If not, you should look him up. Do you know yes. who that cat is? That's yes, I do. That's, uh, from that's Russia. the uh, Russian. Guy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, I think everybody's seen that clip on YouTube at this point. No, there's more than that on that guy. I love those guys. Well, I yeah, love but I mean, he, he's got a really famous interview everybody talks about. Yeah, that guy, I love defectors. I love people that they, they, they like, are you familiar with the UAP channel? UAP? Uh, no, I don't think so. You got to check out UAP, because this guy's a physicist. Oh, for you outer space guys who think we're on Mars. This is a physicist that went against the grain. Said, no, we can't get the fucking, anyway, UAP channel. I love that guy. And there's another guy, Florida Marquis. You ever hear of him? Uh, <clears throat> Florida Marquis? No, I don't think so either. No, he's a he's a military guy that just he he does the the map. Yeah, they're brilliant people. Okay, hold on a second here, Jim. Let I don't want to miss anything. I had to ask. So. Well, what do you think about? Well, I'll ask you, cast this. What do you think about the women's spacewalks? What do you think about those cats? What do I think about sending women to outer space? Can we send them all? Yes, every single one of them, except for a dozen. Can we just launch them? Can we just launch them on rockets to get the fuck out of here? Even if there's a dome up there, just splatter them against that. I don't give a shit. There you go. Yeah, you didn't miss, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Jade would be happy to hear about that. Hey, did you get? Well, she can complain as she's hurtling at twenty thousand miles an hour on a fucking Titan rocket. I want to go. They asked me if I'd go. I'd go. 
I'll go to Disneyland. They never have me. Did you did you get K9? Did you know about the Gratwick Productions? What we're up to here? Did you get his email about what we're up to? Uh, about he, taking, he mentioned something. Taking oh, over briefly Hollywood? about it. Yeah. Are you familiar with that? What do you Some, think of that idea? Uh, uh, of uh, doing your own thing? Indep everybody's independent. Everybody makes their own money. No, no pay to anybody. A structure where you own. You, you don't just... Uh, it's complicated. Uh, right. What I think you should do uh, is there is a... Have you ever heard of a show called uh, What We Do in the Shadows? It does sound familiar, but no. It's it's a uh, it's like a I was gonna say almost say British it's a uh, New Zealand I think made like horror <clears throat> horror comedy show about vampires but they're doing a spinoff about werewolves and when I heard they were doing a spinoff about werewolves oh, I somebody, thought about Sphere of the Lycanthrope. Did you write something on Twitter or something? You know I'm not a big Twitter and Instagram cat. I think you wrote. You something you need about to that. get a hold of them. Yeah, you need to get a hold of them and see if you can get in that fucking show. Yeah, I don't do that anymore, man. <laughs> Jim, at the top of the they show, will let you play a werewolf, my friend. Really? Yes. Uh, it's, gotta, it's a great fucking show. I got to look into it a little further and send him my lycanthrop resume. <laughs> Jim, at the top of the show, you were talking about some FBI finders thing. Uh, tell, yeah. Tell us more about that. Uh, yeah, so the FBI vault, uh, or well, the, the vault that the FBI has where they release information through their Freedom of Information Act... Um, the FBI just released all their files on the Finders, which was a group that was allegedly trafficking in children for sex and satanic purposes. If you remember back in the 80s, there was something deemed the uh, Satanic Panic, where they talked about uh, McMartin uh, Preschool. And there was a group of like 30 kids that had said that they were molested and taken in tunnels underground, and there was all this weird Satanism stuff going on. Uh -huh. Um, the FBI released files, and in the files, they had a report talking about the discovery of tunnels under the school that they never disclosed. Kind of like the priests that are uh, busted fiddling with little boys and sent off to another parish underground. Yeah, but it, well, this would this would be really big. Like, if 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 uh, I think they said it was like page forty eight or forty nine of the PDF that the FBI released, but. Uh, if there are reports about there actually being tunnels underground, that's that's fucking huge because they said those kids lied, and they said that there was nothing like that on the premises. Oh, and now they found them. But now there's a report saying that there were yeah. that there was a team that found tunnels under the preschool. Yes. Fantastic, man! Unbelievable shit. Yeah, the finder, the finders is some dark shit, man. I mean, that's like the Nivixum cult with the. Uh, Rich people and the uh, celebrities or Epstein and his island. I mean, this is kind of like a big thing. That dope opera. I'm going to tell you, you I, I don't think anyone realizes how many millions of children go fucking missing every year. I don't think, I don't think you have a clue. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure there's a lot of rich people, rich and powerful people that traffic in that sort of stuff. And I, I honestly believe Epstein was involved in that. Absolutely. And it's real convenient. It's real convenient that he, uh, you know, quote unquote, committed suicide in a cell with the guards sleeping and the cameras disabled. Yeah, yeah. Isn't, isn't that a coinky dink? Yeah, fucking hell, yeah. mate. I mean, seriously. The, the sad part is that it was so predictable. It still happened, and still nothing's being done about it. Like it's just spitting in our yeah, face. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Nothing happened. Yeah, yeah. Nothing happened. Uh, Prince Andrew, the British uh, aristocrat, you know, uh, royalty that was involved in this, the guy with the puppets, uh, a few news articles, but he got all angry about it and threatened to sue papers. And uh, yeah, I don't know. These people seeing, should be nailed to the wall for their I'm, shit. I'm seeing all kinds of shit about the wife of the fucking prince guy lately on every cover. What's her problem? And uh, again, that I don't know about. Well, the Epstein thing, the dope opera's over. That was the, that was the part of the show. It's over now. It's over. You understand, kids? It's over. The Greta, the Greta Thunberg, it's over. They're going to get on, they're going to fuck your minds up with something else next, and then it's over. <laughs> right. Wait, it's are you telling me, you, are, you, are you telling me you don't believe Greta's message that you need to eat bugs? I fucking tattooed <laughs> her on my back. How do you like that? Now, how many bugs are you eating? Because we have to save the earth, and I heard that we have to eat cockroaches to do it. I fucking eat bugs. I don't give a fuck. They're probably better for you than what you get at the grocery store. Hey, bugs can't moo, so I'm not eating them. 
You're not going to trick me with that shit. I'm not down in a centipede covered in chocolate. Well, let me ask how you this bad question. The earth is. Let me ask you this question, Jim. Okay. Mm-hmm. Remember, you know, I'm big on pre-programming, and anything that comes out of the, that box is preparing you for what's coming. Okay. Like okay. I said, like the fucking, uh, you know, how you can talk to people on your phone now and see their face, right? Back in 1950 something, they had it in France, the video phone. Back in the 50s, they had this thing, okay? See, they have all this technology. They, they just dole it out. Oh, shit, I think I lost my point. Give me a second. Was Fucking their out. reception as shitty as ours is today? Wait, give me a second. I had an important question, man. I hate when I lose my point. Okay. You're, talking about, you're talking about pre-programming. Yes. Oh, fuck Were you going to bring up Seattle on uh, November 3rd? That's going around right now. No, I wasn't going to bring that up. I no, did that on my show. On yeah, we had a whole episode on that, man. And Sarah, oh, she you. actually sent me shit, and other people sent me stuff. Other stuff. But we're going to see. Listen, if shit goes down, we all have to s- still keep our fucking thoughts on Seattle on November 3rd, no matter what. And maybe in- if enough people talk about it, they'll fucking drop it. Okay? Because 9-11? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all the shit before that. Ah, there's no coincidences there, man. Again, they have to show you the truth and the lies. The only way they can get away with it in the spiritual realm. Yeah, but if they drop, well, it, there's a lot of weird shit. Everything. Yeah, but there's a lot of weird shit going on on the West Coast. I mean, even with the rolling blackouts in California and everybody talking about uh, November third, and you know, was it Seattle? Uh, the the thing I found weird is why are they making ham uh, radio operators take down their repeaters? Like, you know, you need a repeater to keep the signal going so you can get, you know, longer than like five or six miles on a ham radio. And now California passed a law where they're making all the ham radio operators take the repeaters down so they can't do it anymore. This I know nothing about. Look, this is, look, I'm telling you fuckers, we're in big fucking trouble, okay? They just did this whole turn the power off where, you know, this is 20 miles from me, man. Like five miles from K9. You understand? Well, dude, so, I've been out without power for two days. Just today. He's been down for two days. Power. This fucker. Right here. It's right over there. It's 15 miles from me, him. Not even. Okay? Now, understand something. They just did this, where they shut down the power to prevent fires, and then they lit it all fucking up. All right? And now, they're, they're going to make this a fucking normal. I've never heard of this in my life, mind you. Have you, K-9? Have you ever heard of it? Where they shut down power in California during the wind season? Have you ever fucking heard of it? No, but they've definitely used the term new normal. New normal. Okay? And they just didn't. They're telling you it's part and, and parcel of again. living in California? <laughs> oh, dude. They it, it, it shut <laughs> it down for two to it, days yeah. because of the high winds, and we haven't had a breeze strong enough to bend a piece of paper. So, this is the new normal. Understand? And they're wiping you motherfuckers out. Paradise last year. Now we got this. Now they're turning off potentially San Francisco tonight. Okay? They just failed, but they're going to do it again. And they spit at you. They mock you. Yeah, we're going to burn you motherfuckers up. Wait till you see. So, why are you guys paying? Wait, why are you guys paying for energy then if they're just going to cut your fucking power off? Good point. K9, write a letter. They haven't turned well, we my power off. We need to listen to the gym show. How are we supposed to not? How are we supposed to do that if we don't pay our uh, power bill? <laughs> That's right. Fucking hell, man. I'd, I'd be asking for money back if I'm if I'm paying every month for the fucking power and they're cutting my power off. I want a refund of something. Dude, the, some the, fucking credit, some coupon. The power company still owes me a thousand dollars from when they started the creek fire a year and a half ago. You write a letter. Yeah, it sounds like California is a fucking nightmare. All right, back to my screen. Somebody says this is definitely you. It is obscured, but their their note (laughs) behind this. Back on this. Yes, they say this is you. No doubt about it. Okay, hold on. Let's pull it up. I got to refresh to you live here. That's fine. Oh, the black and white one is that the one we're on? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) This, like, negative. They said, this is definitely you. It looks like you were wearing a visor. It looks like fucking Eminem. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, that's me. Um, they call me uh, Mr. <laughs> Intellectual Checkmate, Mr. 3%. Uh, some people call me Grand Chef, but See, you got me. That's, I, that's I, me. I, I told you, fuckers, by the end of the night, you're going to compile the ones that he agreed on, and you're going to make a face out of it. And that's Jim. Now, I know this isn't you. <laughs> I know this cat isn't you, because I just, he, he, you're, not a, you're not Joaquin Phoenix, right? Are we, are we on another one here? Yeah. Oh, I wish. I, I'd love to walk around in the makeup. Yeah, that's not him, though. I told you, cats, fucking with me. And that's, one day that, I'll rise up. That's and Sarah be Jason me. Edgars. Yeah, that guy tried to uh, dox you out. These are all your friends. This is definitely you. 
We know this. We know this is you. <laughs> oh, oh, let's 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 see. It's popping up here. <laughs> yeah, I, that's how I walk around in real life. Is uh, <laughs> is dressed like that. It's my incognito mode. Nobody can figure out who I am if I do that. Told you. I told you so. No, this is you. This is a portrait of you. <laughs> Dude, I was bombarded by this stuff. Sometimes I regret something I write. Oh up. yeah, yeah. That's that. That looks. That's fairly accurate. Sure. Getting closer. Getting closer. Oh, I got plenty of them. I got to show you the one that I know is him. And I'm gonna. Oh, this uh, this one is an insult. I'm sorry, but I have to show it. Is this you? Okay. Well, let me let me let me catch up, and I'll tell you. Yeah, I think you're gonna be upset. I know. I wish. I wish I could rock the Sam Hyde look, but no, that is not that's me. That's not Jim. Okay, thank you very much. Now. This is some Julian McPotatoes, and I... <laughs> Julian McPotatoes, okay. He's a friend of yours. One of your, one of, you're one of his heroes. Is this you? Well, Tell the truth. Uh, no. Uh, sadly, I am not letting people fuck my girlfriend, and I'm not raising my girlfriend's child. That is not me. Oh, so we know who this is. I don't know who he is. You know who he is. All right, that's Mr. Good. Matt. That's Matt Jarbo. That's Matt Jarbo. Oh, that's Matt Jarbo. That fat fuck. Fuck him. That's Matt Jarbo. Yeah, fuck Matt Jarbo. Now this is definitely you. I uh, this is one I'm saying that's Jim. So we well, I do love my shekels. Yeah, I do sell a lot go. of hats, David. Mm -hmm. I sell a lot of fucking hats. <laughs> so you cats have to remember. The no, ones that you, you want to know how you can. I, wait, you you, you want to know how you can identify me in public? Yeah. Throw a nickel on the ground. I'll be the guy running for it. That's how you know. <laughs> that's how you know it's me. Okay, agents in the field. He just gave you a fucking hint. All right. You see this cat? Any cat? You just drop nickels around when you think it's Jim. What about this cat here? <laughs> is this you? It's a big forehead, Jim. Well, that's because I run a big investment company. <laughs> Writing those books, making that money. There you go. Yeah, look at the size of that. That's abnormal. <laughs> Almost as big as mine. I, 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 needed, I needed enough room to write my bank account statement on it so the ladies know that I'm available. Holy fucking hell. Is this you? This is you. All right, I think I got it. This is the most forced smile I've ever seen. There's nothing natural about that. That's because it's no. Jim. That well, okay. All right, let me let me clear this up. People get confused. I am both of those people. I am the father and the son. <laughs> we run the brokerage firm together. I told you, kids. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna lift up the fucking curtain on this guy. Now, <laughs> this one's brilliant. This has to be you. <laughs> Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, that is a fancy looking man, but no, I'm sorry, that is not me. No, not you. That is a cost <laughs> That is a costume company. Fucking <laughs> selling a Halloween outfit. Oh fuck it. I I swore it. I swore it. Didn't I swear it? It's an extra this, from the lab. This, is this cat. All right. Uh, no, I yeah, well there you go. I wish I had those piercing blue eyes. Did you ever play football? Go into a David Bowie number. Did you ever play yes. football? I think we got him. sports. We got him in high school. Hey, I, I want to know what position Jim used to play. Oh well, you know, I was I was down on my hands and knees a lot after that super chatter asked earlier. I love me sucking dick. I love me on the team. You sound like a lineman, Jim. Oh, there was a line of men, all right. They just <laughs> they just come by in the locker room before they'd go play the game. You see the truth that comes out on the state of mind. Fucking unbelievable. Is that you? In high school. Uh, no, that's that. That's not me. Damn, I'm not wearing the I'm not wearing the free taxi shirt, so that's not me. Oh, I fucking know. This is definitely you. <laughs> uh, waiting for it to waiting oh. for it to come up. Let's <laughs> take a look. This is Julian McPotatoes again. You said you were a sports guy, so this must be you. Well, yeah, you know, I <laughs> sure I'm the scout. <laughs> yeah. You got me. <laughs> All right, this is Jim, courtesy of Mick Potatoes again. This gotta be you, because there's a tattoo, and it says, um, "Get your spunk here," and there's an arrow on his waist. Well, now you know why I was singing Ram Ranch. Get your spunk. Yeah, you got me. That's you, right? Eighteen naked cowboys. Yeah, you got me. Got him. Got Confirmed. Him. I think he's lying to us, though. So don't believe a word he says. Just compile these images and kind of compress them all into one face, and we got Jim Medicker. Fucking hell, mate. Man, I'm so excited about this.
Now yeah, listen, I mean, yeah, this is it. a fucking insult, but I questioned it, so I do have to ask you, is this fucking you? Okay, hold on, let me pull up uh, is this D-Live. Is sure silence, or is he waiting for the delay? No, yeah, he's just waiting to see. I think this is denial. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> well, I do demand that immigrants wax my balls. I mean, that is true. But, now, somebody asked uh, that question. Hold on, someone asked that question. What do you think of that whole scene? <laughs> What do I think about court-ordered ball waxings? I think it's insane. I think the world's gotten mental. <laughs> oh, a long time ago, bro. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Hey, let me give you uh, my I do opinion. like that Yenev, uh, they, they lost their case, though. Canada, for yeah, whatever reason. I, I'm still amazed. It oh, lost. Yeah. She, it lost. no, David, he lost. He yeah, lost. he lost. That's right. He lost. <laughs> there you go. That's right. He lost. It lost. Listen, this is my philosophy. I want you to tell me what you think. Okay? I see this shit. Sure. With these fucking goddamn fucking tranny, uh, what do you call them? Tran, uh, what do you call them? Drag queens, right? Doing story time in schools. Uh, d- teaching twerking to five-year-olds. Okay? My opinion, Jim, is it's a complete psyop. It's really not fucking happening. Because oh, my opinion is this. As much as I see of it, I should see them at my fucking Ralph's every fucking day, at least one of them. I don't see any of them. My opinion is, first of all, how many parents would even have their child in that school, okay, if this was going on? I don't care if they're not 5, they're 10, 11, 12, whatever. I don't believe it. I think it's, it's a fucking agenda. They're pushing it on the masses. LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G came into your face like two, three years ago, just slammed into your fucking face. And I don't believe it's happening. That's my opinion. What do you think? Well, actually, I cover partially what I think in the upcoming video I've got coming out on Sunday or Monday, which is Transtastic cool. Tales Part 2. What is it called? Where I cover this. Transtastic Tales Part 2. Suffer the Little Children is the name of the episode. And it goes it goes over this. I, I, I've seen a lot of stories about it. Um, I think it is getting pushed by certain groups. Uh, I think it's crazy and dangerous. I think putting kids on puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones and gonad <laughs> surgeries and sexual reassignment surgeries are dangerous. I think that uh, the different groups that are out there that are doing it, like Genesis through Children's Hospital, um, different medical organizations that advocate for it, uh, you know, the affirming therapies they're trying to push through schools and through uh, different, like, um, city services. It, it's it's ludicrous. Uh, you know, that story about uh, James Young, the little kid that whose mother wanted to, you know, take him, make him Luna, wouldn't let the father have a say in it. It was in Texas. It's kind of big news over the last month. Uh, originally, that kid wanted to be called Starfire because they were a fucking fan of Teen Titans. But because the mom thought, oh, he wants to be Starfire, a cartoon character, it must mean that my little boy wants to be a little girl, so let's put him in a dress and call him Luna. Um, I, I, it, it just it feels like parents these days are treating their kids like poodles. They want to show them off, you know, and they want to make them the most unique poodle they can make it because it's some kind of fucking victory for them. So they're doing all this fucked up shit to their kids, I mean, look and then like the kid that. gets older. Yeah, the kid gets older, and they've got to deal with it. It's a bunch of psychological fucking baggage for some poor kid. That's got to grow up, and they've been on fucking hormones and wearing dresses, and they don't know the fuck they are. Kids are idiots. Dude, kids don't I, know what they want. This is this is my whole. I this is what I preach. In ten years from now, your kids aren't gonna know. They're not gonna know who the fuck they are. They'll be one hundred percent fucking programmed. Hey, you know what we do on this show, Jim? You said it. You know your voices in the opening of my show, the end of my show. You fucking red pilled the audience, man. Well. That's what we do. Do me a favor. I need the vault. I need the box. I need the box, man. Incoming. I'm going to actually feed you red pills through the, through the fucking camera. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got to send you some of these. They're in the vault. Hold on. Yeah. You ready? I'm going to feed them to you, man. There you go, man. Fucking enjoy these. Oh, one sec, one sec. I'm a little behind on stream. Yeah, I think oh, I'm just, they're coming through to you, man. You're going to open your mouth, man, because they're popping in. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, just take them. Just down them all, yeah? Yeah. Bam. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. Let's 
state of yeah, mind. Yeah, society's yeah. gone crazy. It, it, it really has. Society's gone fucking insane. And the fact that there are even legal questions like these, like can you force a beautician to wax your balls? Can you chemically castrate a seven-year-old? Uh, can you can you have a pool party with naked twelve year olds? Like it's just there's so much weird fucked up shit going on, Jim. and it's always pushing the limit to see how far it'll go. How can these questions even be asked? Is my problem. It is just in fucking sane, man. I lose my fucking shit on this man. Huh. God damn it! Man. Well, you're living, you're living in the, you're living in the lines, Dan. I mean, you guys are out in California. You well, got to deal with the shit more than other people do. That's why I said that when they're, when they're putting this on everywhere, and I have no fucking TV, but I see it constantly here. So I could just imagine it's all over there. I should, they should be in line at fucking Ralph's every day. It's always busy. I don't see any of them. I one or once or twice, yes, once in a while, you see one of these dude, dude looks like a lady, and they don't pull it off ever. Uh, fucking hell, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, right. like, like here, here's the here, wait, wait. Here's the thing with that shit, right? Yeah. So you got some fucking you got some fucking teenage boy, who still isn't fully developed, and so they want to pretend to be a girl, and maybe maybe they can trick a few people with it. But by the time they're in their twenties, by the time they're in their thirties, and you got male pattern baldness, and you got big shoulders, and a large Adam's apple, and a deep voice, and facial hair, and chest hair. Nobody buys it. It doesn't look convincing. You're not fooling anybody. Hey, look at that. Look at the and then the reality. <laughs> the reality crashes in on them, and then they end up part of the forty-one percent. Uh, look at your fucking president's wives. When they get older, they can't hide it anymore, man. They're dudes. They're fucking dudes. All fucking Baphomet. All goddamn Freemasons. Horrific. I just wrote on someone. That's the fucked up shit out there. Someone wrote, on Facebook, I think it was. Someone was like, "I don't know why you think uh, the Freemasons are a secret society." He's writing this shit. I'm part of a Freemasonry. And of course, you know I'm a fucking asshole, so I'm gonna give you shit, right? So first of all, I'd, if any of you out there think Freemasonry is a, is a fucking secret society, you're dumb as shit. I told you before, go look in your fucking computer right now, your local fucking Freemason Lodge. It's there. And if you're in a real small town, it's in a town over. There's no secret to it. The secret is, they tell us, they tell you it's a fraternity. It's not a fucking fraternity. It's a goddamn religion that worships the sun god, fucking Satan, and Baphomet, and they run the goddamn world. They're the underlings of the fucking uh, controllers. My opinion, mind you. Oh, you're not. You're not wrong. Uh, there are Masonic temples all around where I am. Amen. They've got, they've got lodges in every state. All right, Jim. Is this you? Kick it to me, Kano. Is this you, bro? I lean towards this sometimes. Jim, did I lose you? <gasps> I think we lost Jim. Dude. I think we lost Jim. Is there a call still connected there? Oh, he's calling back. Bro, are you there? That was shocking. Jim, you there? Jim! Are you there? Oh, no, 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 no. I just had another call. I hit accept. Hold on. Jim, call back. No. All right. Hold on. Technical difficulties. I don't know. He just wasn't there. And I actually have the photo up, which you cats saw. I think this is fucking Jim. God damn. Jim, call back. All right, very good. So, all right, well, let me check out you cats, man. Everybody having a good time? We have fun with Jim, man? Oh, come on, man. You know how easy this makes my fucking job? I wish I could do this every fucking night. 
Tomorrow night, the N-word guy. He's coming on. We've confirmed. Yes, we have. What's going on? Who's in the house? Oh, you guys are just freaking out. Uh, Z McB in the house, everybody. Oh, listen, special announcement for you cats. All right, I got an eye out for Jim again. All right, Jim's back. Jim's back. Yeah, okay, we got him back. Uh, for all you cats that ordered uh, the, the book, Dare Hunter, there were quite a few of them. I, I, since there was a delay in getting me getting the books, uh, they're coming to you. I got a special present for you in there. Seriously. Hey, Jim, you back? Hello, Jim. All right, bro, help me out here. Because I accepted the call. Should I hit start video? I didn't have to do that before. Uh, it, should, it should already be on start video. Well, it says start video. When I click on it, I just see me. And that's... I, I can't stand it. Hit, it. hit accept on that. What's that? Hit accept on all that. I did. I hit accept. That's all I have to do, right? And it was him. It was Jim! All right, that's my video. You got start video going, uh, mute face cam? Yeah, somewhere? start video is there. It was there. I hit accept. Okay. Uh, Jim, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, my friend. Hey, cancer with a K. What's going on? Uh, TPQ, 1969. Let me see the iPad. Wait, the porn's coming up, so hang out. What do you want to see? Let me see the iPad. La da dee, la da dum, la da dee, la dum. Oh, while we're at it, hey, listen, Bonzo, Bonzo, my friend Bonzo. Hey, Bonzo, you in the house? Charles, my man, went to 337. What's going on, Eric? They got him. No, they did. If that happened on my show, that would be so fucked up, man. Truth sharing mirror, just groovy, man. Yeah, we're having a good time. Hunkamania. Yeah, Jim's hanging with us, bro. We're having a ball. We'll get him back. He's coming back. But I want to thank Bonzo. He sent me. Dude, I watched a video. And I showed you cats this video once before. I showed you a video of the chick who does the horse, right? So he sent me a fucking mouth organ. I'm going to try. I think it's fucked up because you put it on your teeth and it vibrates. But watch this. Anyway, I'm going to figure it out, bro. But thank you very much, Bonzo. Thank you. Mandarian. Mandarian sent me for my birthday. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to try. I'm, I tried to find the chick that I showed you her, where she does the horse. <laughs> that chick, right? I think this. she's using a fucking mouth harp. I got one. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very, very much. Where's Jim? Fucking hell, man. If he's watching, call back in again. It's called a jaw harp. Yeah, that's right. Jaw harp. But on the yams, how, what's going on, my brother? Rifleman, Rifleman1002, Jaw Harp. Yeah, thank you very much. I got, I'm going to try to figure out how to learn to play something on, and I'll play it for you cats. Don't, it's very frustrating, to tell you the truth. It took me like two hours to figure that out. Yeah, I know, I got it, everyone. Raven Loop, Ke Kelvin Zero, I got it. John Doe, John Doe in the house. You got a little uh, ribbon on your toe? Helen Keller, yeah, my friend. Mr. Zero, I always told you you're more than zero. Is he there or no? He's not calling back in. Jim, call back. Um, Jim, oh, he was taken by it? several glowing figures to the top of the dome, to the Medicare Mountain. That's light. Lie it. Metro Android, my man. Nightmare. There's a nightmare in the house. Jessica R. Hello, Jessica. Baka Baka. Hey, where you been, man? David, you need to ask Jim about Trapper Kim. No, fuck you. Erica. Damn it, man. You mm -hmm. get me every time. <laughs> No, uh, thank you, Clanker. Sup, fuck nuggets. Oh, you're disgusting. How dare you right now? Okay, hello? Pell! Oh, he's back. Jim's back in the house. Okay, you got me? Okay. <laughs> oh, what happened there? Oh, you have him over there. All right, he's got you over there. All right, cool, man. Hey, Jim, you're back. What happened? Technical difficulties? I don't know, man. It was our end, right? You, all of a sudden, it was just silent. If something dropped out. Hey, you're back, because I thought this was the cat that was you. So I got him on the screen. Can you catch up with that? <laughs> no, I, th I think we're good. It's minor, minor hiccup. Yeah, that's fine. Can you see this guy on my screen? <laughs> on your screen, no. Are you oh, hold on. Let me refresh the stream. Yeah, let, me, refresh. let me refresh the stream. Because I think we actually got you this time, bro. 
I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I think my head's a little bigger than that. Oh, okay. That's, that's not you. I know it's very shadowy and obscured, but I thought possibly that was you in the shadows with that obscure skull. It, it was worth the effort. All right. Well, we tried. Hold on. There's a couple more. Just a few more. Oh, this is definitely uh, you in a past life. I know this. This I know. <clears throat> well, let, let's see it. Oh, there right, we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a fancy looking picture. I like the outfit. Definitely past life of you, correct? Sure. Yeah, I, I, I knew that. See? Going, going out there doing some exterminatus? Yeah. I might, take I, I might not dox Jim in the present time, but I will in the past. I will. Well, we know that's you. We know. Oh, this is you after this show. Watch. This is Jim after. Is it a man show. drinking? No, you'll see. <laughs> you should be doing that during the show. <laughs> there we go. That's Jim after the show. <laughs> now, this is definitely fucking you. I know this was you in some interrogation room at some time in your life. Fuck all. Don't lie to us, Jim. Uh, no, that's very funny. No, I am <laughs> not stalking women in a documentary. I'm sorry. That is not me. Oh, so you know who he is? <laughs> I knew it. Yes, I, I know who that is. I knew they were sending me shit Just that you know. Just the one-word description, kids, so. <laughs> now, I don't think this is you at all. No fucking way. This is not you. No, this is no way, Jim. <laughs> I, that's a very short man. I don't think that's me either. I told you. I told his you shoulders fuckers. come up. To, his shoulders come up to the doorknob. No, yeah. I'm a little taller than that. I told you, cats. I why waste my time with this shit? Do you know anything? About now this, I have a quite no way. Hold on. Now this is one that I said this is the closest it's going to get to Jim's true identity. And this is I'm going to dox him. Stephen Massop sent this man. Why? Well, that is a very tiny man. But again, that's somebody that doesn't come up beyond the doorknob. No, Damn that it. would not be me. Fucking hell. All right, I have him at the end, kids. I swear to God, I do. And if he denies it, we have to take his word for it. Oh, wait. Now, this must be you. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I am known for my love of My Little Pony. Okay. My Little Pony and Sucking Dick are the top two hobbies that I've got going for me. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. That's not you. Oh, this could be you, actually. Did you have any uh, female enhancement done to your chest at all? At all? Like any hormones? Did, anything like that? Have I had female enhancement done? Yes, at all. Because if you did, well, no, this is see, definitely I, you. I, I hang around the hospitals, and when they do the uh, m uh, female to male, you know, they, they scoop their tits out with an ice cream scoop. <laughs> you take the so square So I just, I, 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 grab, I grab the leftovers, and I just kind of shove it in there. Yeah, right. So this could be you. It could be. It's a possible. It's a possibility. Remember, I told you anything that he com closely says, yeah. You can, one of you freaking artists out there, you're going to take them all and you're going to freaking, what do you call it? Meld them together. And we'll have a composite of Jim. I'm telling you. Now, I know this isn't you. We've, this is from Philip uh, Alts, this punk. But he said, this is fucking him. I know it's him from another ancient life you had. Is this possible, Jim? Uh, well, I would love to claim the legacy of a king, but I can't do that. Okay, it's not him. I'm one of those. I'm one of those fucking cave dwellers. I can't do that. I'm right. sorry. Now I know this is definitely you. No doubt about it. You can't deny it either. Now all you cats have to do is find these eyes, and you find Jim. Is that, is that fucking Wilson? Yeah, yeah. I'm Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jim. We know this isn't you. We already confirmed this is not Jim. But I'm telling you cats right now, I'm doxing them right now, because little do you know that Nick, the attorney, has Jim on sometimes, okay? And I mentioned the show earlier where this black guy threatened to kill Nick and his whole fucking block. And when Jim was talking, Nick doxed him, all right? And this is Jim. Oh, no, this isn't it. But this is closer to you than I think. All that, all that build up, and you went to the wrong image. Yeah, I did. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got him. Look behind the curtain. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. It's, Welcome to the state of mind, dude. Yeah, it, if, if there's not a boomer moment, it's not the fucking show. Hey, we did. We didn't have one, have we? Except for the, you're just getting we, cut we out on our, Jim. We, we dropped our best guest that we've had so far. No, this is him. This is Jim, ladies and gentlemen. Take a screenshot right now, because this is fucking. Because Nick. He's an attorney, so you know he's telling the truth. 
That's fucking Jim right there. Tell us it's not. Well, I, I told you I work for the government, so being Hal Turner would make sense. Done. My job is done. Fucking did it. That's correct. You got me. You nailed me. I'm out there trying to get people to do extremist shit so they get sent to prison. Fucking cool beans, man. I told you I'd do it, kids. I told you I would. All right, back to me and Jim, my man. <laughs> Jim, you said you had some other topics. Now, hold on just one second. I have a question sure. for Mr. K-9. Uh, K-9, my friend. Hey. You got to jump when the feline comes, correct? Uh, she's sitting outside, yes. Oh, hey, sweetheart, come in. Door oh, unless you're busy watching cooking shows. Oh, I promise you, she's got those headphones in. She doesn't hear you. She doesn't even hear me. Yeah. All right. So. I do Jim. have a big Jim question I want to ask. Perfect. Yeah, K-9 has a question for you, Jim. Jim, how do you prepare sure. for a show? What's your What's your routine like? How do you, How does the material come about, and how do you prepare? Fucking great question. I, I usually just find something funny, and then I look for clips or screen caps related to it. I queue it up in OBS in its own little group. And then I have multiple groups, and I just go one through the other. Do I have to do that, Jim? <laughs> you can do it how you, you can do it however you like. Um, but generally, uh, you know, it, it's it's if there's enough of a subject to talk about, like the Blizzard stuff, there was a ton of stuff related to that. Uh, when Jared uh, had his whole "let me show the internet my dick" thing, there was a bunch of that. Uh, when it was the Kiro and the furry stuff, there was a bunch of that. It's just trying to get as much, uh, as many caps and as many videos and clips as you can and compiling it all together to try to make, uh, you know, co coherent little little segments that all tie together, I guess. You'd, you'd be better off asking somebody like Ethan Ralph from the Ralph Retort because he, he puts together shows every day of the week. So he has to do it more than I do. I don't know how you do that fucking show. I got to tell you, man. Uh, the, the whole thing with, I, I really appreciate more than ever fucking radio talk show guys that go Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. till 10 a.m., whatever. That's fucking oh, brilliant yeah, to yeah. me. I could, I, I do three and I'm freaking done, man. I can't, well, it's just me and canine. That's it. Yeah, some people, some people can do it. Some people can't. I, I'm not a huge streamer myself. I don't do it every day of the week. I'd go crazy if I had to. All right, I have a question from Frank. Hey, David, I saw you said you definitely had a picture of Jim. Yeah, and I just showed it to you. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Um, I have been following him for over eight years on YouTube, and he's my hero. I spent many, I spent many sleepless nights. Holy shit, people losing your sleep over you. I spent many sleepless nights trying to search for just a picture of what he looks like. All to no avail. I would never dox him. I just love the man too much. I wanted to know if maybe you could send me a pic. But if you don't, I will totally understand. Wait, was that guy's name Brian? No, Frank. Does it say sincerely, sincerely King of Pole? No, just Frank. I don't. Okay, because the picture he'd be looking for isn't a facial pic. It's something else. Oh, you disgusting creature. God damn you. I hate when they do that. I have a quick one from our friend, the real, are you familiar with the real official Amazing Adam? The real official Amazing Adam? No, I don't think so. Well, I can, I'm telling you right now, I'm not declaring that he is the real official because I asked him to send me a notary and, to, you know, fucking prove this shit. But this is what he wrote. Hey, David, it's me, the real official Adam. We don't know that, Adam. Mm hmm um, this is a request for your and Jim. Could both of, could both of you wish me a happy 204 subscribers? And would one of you or both be the subscriber special? Uh, congratulations on your 204 subscribers, my brother from another mother. Get him with it, Jim. He's going to put it on his show. He's so excited. Uh, well, congratulations on hitting your, your new sub high. There okay. you go. And I'm a subscriber, bro. I, I can't speak for Jim. Jim's his own person, okay? Uh, would you be a specific? I would love to have one of the coolest cats I know, uh, basically you and my hero, Jim. So you want to have us on your show in a couple of weeks. Well, look, I'm on board. You just email me. Jim, you can forget it, dude. Never going to fucking happen. And if you make it happen, it'll be fucking brilliant. So you reach out to Jim for that, and you reach out to me, and you want to shoot the shit with you on your show, I'll fucking do it, okay? All right, very good. Jim. Before we go to the private show, okay, we got like five minutes left. 
And then okay. we have, we have the we have the uh, Patreon fucking uh, after hours show. I'm gonna send you the link if you want to hang with us. Can we? Will you hang with us, Jim? Oh uh, yeah, I'll pop on for a while. All right, cool. Jim's gonna hang, so you guys can ask him questions in in the. Uh, hey David. Hey Jim. Jim, you are my hero. That's the real official amazing Adam. He's freaking out, man. <laughs> Okay, hold on, Jim. <laughs> so, uh, I need one of you cats out there to compile everyone that Jim confirmed was him and make it into one person. And then we'll know what Jim looks like. Jim, if you know, we did all that. Hey, dude, brother, we went through all of My man, I am so grateful that you come to hang out with me in the state of mind with all these fucking people, man. It was fucking brilliant. Everybody have a fucking good time. Light it the fuck up. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the show, Jim. Hey, I, it's fun to be here. I, I wish we could have got more to the reptilians and NASA, but I understand you're scared. It's okay. No, Government's no, out no, there. Let's, come let's get hit you. NASA right now. I dare you. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you dare? <laughs> Threw a grenade in the room. Uh, I understand. It's okay. It's okay to be scared. It's all right. I'm here. <laughs> I got some support. I'm frightened. But what do we? You have, you have more on NASA for me? I'd be interested. Oh no, I, I thought we I thought we'd talk about the NASA stuff with the alien disclosure shit that's going on that's going crazy right now. Uh, the finders and the child uh, trafficking network, which is going on out there. Just lots of really weird shit happening. California, we kind of touched on a little bit with the wildfires we and the ham radio network going down. Hey, dude. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I'm more than any time you want me to shoot the shit with you about some of that nonsense on your show or any dude. Will you please come back sooner than later? And hang with us again, because these people go nuts for you, man. Uh, yeah, we can. We can. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we do? Uh, I'm trying to think. What can we do? This is breaking fucking news. What can we do, bro? I want to do an alien show. Fucking a! I will be all over that. Did you, oh, dude, you have to go back to the abduction episode. I told my whole abduction story, bro. I, I want to do an alien show. Dedicated to all the alien shit that's been going on. Let's fucking we'll do that. We'll talk about the abduction stuff. We'll talk about all of it. I think it'll be good. I am fucking on board 100% on that. Well, I don't, you know, you do different than I go all over the place. But I would like to settle down and just do a one whole show on one subject. I can do that with somebody else. Yeah, you know? I will, uh, I will compile together the clips and the news articles Fuck. and all of that shit. And we will do that show. Why don't we aim for, like, middle of November? Yeah, hold on one second. I have to address someone here. Just so you know, David is a retard. Hey, oh, just so you know. Don't even give this dude a time of day. Oh, he's, been, been, oh, he's been going the whole show. The whole show? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Just so you know, you're fucking dead to me. This show? This show you fuck around on, you fucking prick? You're fucking dead to me. You're a fucking ghost. God damn it. Sorry, Jim. Thank you, K9, for filling fine. me in. Hot damn. Tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, the N-word guy. He wants to promote I am proud to be the N-word. We're going to have him on life. Yeah, that's right. He's going to be here. To, he's going to state his case to the nation. To the nation of the Mandarians. <laughs> the N-word guy. You're having Get Destiny on? No, it's this guy who wants everyone to say I'm proud to be an N-word. Who's Destiny? Oh, that's, that's, uh, it's a Twitch streamer who's getting harangued right now for uh, using the hard R in some of his uh, jokes. The hard R? Well, I don't want to say it on your stream, David. It gets you in trouble. It starts with the letter R? The N -word that ends with a, there's an N word that ends with a hard R rather than an A. Oh, and he's getting in trouble? Uh, he's getting a lot of shit from certain people over it, yeah. Called him a bunch of uh, Soviet communists who can't take a joke. Dude, see, I don't even understand why these... It's so fucking... It's such bullshit to me. It's so stupid. So stupid, man. God damn, man. I lose my shit sometimes on it, man. Dude, dude, let, let, let me ask you a question, Jim. We don't know how old you are. You don't know how old I am. We don't know, but we've been around. Compare, yeah. 20 years ago, bro. 20. That's, that's not too long ago. Everything was still kind of okay, wasn't it? 20? That's the internet, man. That's what the it internet's all fucked off. up a lot of stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, nine eleven, eh, unbelievable. But just before nine eleven, I'm telling you, everything was pretty cool. I, I swear, I swear, hot damn, uh... Ian. You don't have to defend yourself, but that you're a meth head. I'm a proud opioid addict. Yeah, there you go. 
He's not a meth addict. He's opioids. Fuck off, man. Don't insult Ian, my brother. Lyle Rivas, unbox Zachus on stream. That might be something you know what he's talking about. Jim is 32. You're 32 years old. We doxed him. He's 32 years old. Sure, I'll take it. I'll, I'll be 32. Sold. 32-year-old investment banker, uh, black man <laughs> with uh, Claymore in his mouth. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Hey, did you have a good time with me, bro? Yeah, yeah, no, I like coming on. Cool, man. So, me and Jim, in the near future, I hope, we're going to hang again. It's a whole alien show. We're going to get deep into this. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll, we're going to do a whole alien show, middle of November, probably, I don't know, a weekend work well for you. We'll do something like the 9th or the 16th. Fucking brilliant. Sold. Done. Done. There you go. Now, I have to set up the private party for the patrons. And this is going to even be better because we got a lot to talk about. You're going to ask questions for Jim. Jim's going to hook up with us. And I don't have times for thank yous for everyone, but you know all of you that I love very, very much. I love all of you, even you fucking assholes. You know I do. But if you're dead to me, just so you know, you're dead to me. You understand? Stupid. You're fucking stupid. How many times I got to tell you, don't get too fucked up before my show and say shit you don't mean, and then you can regret it. You fucking regret it. Tell him, Jim. I regret nothing. A YOLO, you only live once, Chad. Go wild. Yeah, these trolls regret it. They regret fucking with me. Hey, my brother, I, I, I again, much gratitude to, to you because I went from you and with him. I'm telling you, kids, five, six days, 700 subscribers were hitting 4,000. And this is the man that brought the manned army from Medicare Mountain to my fucking house. And I can't thank you enough for hanging with me. And in the mid-November, you heard him say it. You heard him say it, didn't you, fuckers? Yes, you did. Me and Jim are getting back together. We're going to do a fucking UFO, alien, fucking abduction, probing goddamn show. And you're going to lose your shit. <laughs> Jim, my brother. I think it'll be fun. It'll be good. Look for an email shortly. Do you have any last departing words for the Medicare Mandarians? Uh, no. That, that, I'm telling you, the alien show is going to be good shit. We're going we're gonna to go full on into that shit. All right, you're going to talk compile, about all the. You're going to compile shit. I'm going to compile shit. That sounds good. All yeah, right, cool. we'll, we'll bring it. We'll bring it all together. Oh, fucking hell! All right, listen. I'll see you, patrons, uh, in a few minutes. If if anyone was new here, and you enjoyed the show, it's a lot different than this normally. But we have a special guest tonight. Do me a favor. I I hate. I have to say this. Hit the fucking subscribe button, okay? Or hit the like button at least. Yeah. Hey, did you know the show? Whole show I did with all the thumbs down show. <laughs> What's that? I did a whole show where I asked everybody to thumb it down. <laughs> did they? Yeah. I had like 56 thumb downs just to see what would happen. Because people would look and say, what could be so bad about this show? And then watch it and say, these people are fucking crazy. <laughs> I did a psyop. You gotta, you gotta, you, I did a psyop. You did a psyop. You're fucking with the YouTubers, are you? I did a psyop on the fucking masses, Jim. <laughs> hey, dude, I really hope to see you in just a little bit. I thank you again so much. I'm going to talk to you in a minute. We're going to set something up for November sometime. And, I, again, can't thank you enough. And you rock on. All right, Jim? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, shoot me an email. I'll, I'll pop on for a little while. I'm, I'm going to go grab a quick bite to eat, but I'll pop on in like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever you do, man. Just pop in. They, they, they'll have some people that might have some specific questions for you, and we can address them. And the audience will see them like Monday or Tuesday. I, I'll broadcast a private party. And you rock on, my brother. All right, take it easy, guys. And y'all, my brothers from other mothers, sisters from other misters, Mandarians, Mandarionettes, I want to make this quick announcement, which I think I already did. But anybody who got the book, I added something real special because of the delay in getting those fucking books. And everybody, see you tomorrow. Rock on! Pow! Look! It's an animal! It is no longer human! The evil of your prophecies has come to life. We have failed you. We have failed. What a mess you have made, Professor Hammond. I'm clear to mess. If only I knew. Fiercely I have underestimated you. But you still shall not upset my future to come. This is your future. I swear it will be done. There is a sphere.
Honestly, fuck off. Oh, 